Oh my gosh. It is another spectacularly gorgeous. I am talking an over the top beautiful. It is a December day here in the end times in paradise. It is Saturday, December 9th. It was uh, when I went to pick up some lumber today. It was 84 degrees here in the. Uh, Sunshine State, 84 degrees on December night. I think the low tonight is 66 degrees. Sitting here watching the uh, lovely cap trails display that I get every night. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, you know, I, I was thinking of coming down here, what I was going to talk about, you know, about kind of what I was talking about last night. All right. Uh, would I trade all of this here to uh, lead some sort of lifestyle that might be more attractive to a, uh, to a female in order, you know, in, in order to get a female Back in my life, would I make the necessary trade-offs, uh, what it would mean to increase my chances to get a woman in my life, uh, how, how far I would be willing to go to change it, and... Uh, so I, I keep holding on to this ridiculous notion that somewhere on this planet <clears throat> there is a woman who might actually enjoy sitting on this dock uh, night after night for half the year watching this spectacularly gorgeous sunset. So about two hours ago I, I get a, uh, a ding from pile of fish there is a woman in Denellen, florida this woman she is my age in Denellen, florida in one of the photographs that she posted on her profile was a sunset over the withlacoochee river i don't think it was here it was uh probably another one of the boat mini boat ramps in and around Denellen on the Withlacoochee River. So, uh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, somewhere in Denellen, Florida, there is a normie. Well, I don't know if she's a normie or not. She didn't say anything about herself. In her profile, you know, these women, they come on there and they don't say anything in their profile. She says she likes traveling, gardening, Traveling, gardening, camping, and kayaking. Traveling, camping, gardening, and kayaking is about all. And she lives in Denellen. She does not smoke cigarettes. And she does not drink alcohol. God damn it. You know, and I just told her, darling, well... My, <laughs> I said, uh, I said this, this is my ritual, 365 nights a year, you can find me having my sunset margarita. I did not say sunset margarita over the end times. I left that part out. So, uh... You know, <laughs> it's always something. But if if, if there, there's any woman on this planet who thinks that I am going to stop having my sunset margarita, uh, I assure you that ain't going to happen. I am not going to make that sacrifice my sunset margarita is one of the few 
pleasures I still allow myself. But anyway, hope springs eternal. Somewhere within a few miles of me, she's got a few pounds on her, like most 65-year-old women do. Uh, oh, God. I don't know if I could just be like Benjamin Franklin... He said, once you turn out the lights, I don't know what lights, I guess in his time, once you blow out the lights and get under the covers, what fucking difference does it make? Uh, Benjamin Franklin was such a pragmatic man. So... I guess I just have to learn to uh, enjoy enjoy uh, sex in the dark under the covers, and maybe I can adjust to uh, having a girlfriend my age. Ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> It's so fucking hopeless. But anyway, I told this woman where she could find me seven days a week. I said, anytime you want to meet up with me twice a day, seven days a week. I said, you can meet me for coffee or meet me for a margarita and bring a damn ginger ale or whatever the hell it is you drink mm. the compromises we make Yep. Compromises. Never have been a big fan of compromising. Mm, not my strong suit. Which is why a seven year marriage ends over a ham sandwich. Mm. Okay. Looking back over. 64 years do I regret my uh, distaste for compromise to uh, meet a woman in the middle uh, <laughs> I don't know it's it always gets back to, well, you just find a damn uh, girlfriend who likes the same things you do. Um, and then you won't have to compromise. Not as easy as it used to be. Something happens. I don't know what, what what age is it? Fifty. Like something happens 
when what's the word you get settled in your ways once you get settled in your ways I uh, this whole you know, I mean I guess if you've been with the same woman for 30 goddamn years and, and you're both settled in your same ways uh, I know exactly hmm, how many marriages do I know where they been three where you know, watching these couples grow old together, and I uh, the defining factor is uh, no shit, Sherlock. It, it is that they have the same interest. Uh, I just have to. Simply find some woman with the same interests as me with a BMI of uh, less than 23. Mm. Oh, it looks like I'm going to be heading to Walmart on my Saturday night. I'm going to head out to Walmart I gotta get take some shit back to get some money and uh because I'm out of limeade for my Saturday for my second Saturday night margarita so my exciting Saturday night is heading to the Donellan Walmart for limeade so I can uh, so I will pass let's see we got the blue gator cranking up we got swampies cranking up uh, I'll never can't remember this there's about five places cranking up for their big Saturday night on this absolutely spectacularly gorgeous Saturday night <clears throat> in Dunellum, Florida. I'll be passing about five places on my way to Walmart to get some fucking limeade so I can come back home and sit in this trailer by myself on this beautiful Saturday night. I need to decide by tomorrow whether I'm going home, home, going to Austin, Texas for Christmas and New Year's Eve. I guess there's a some big New Year's Eve party that I used to be the co-host of. Uh, this friend of mine, she and I, <coughs> for several years, used to put on this big New Year's Eve bash where we'd have about, usually around 300 people show up to our New Year's Eve parties. So uh, she's coming out of Corona panic retirement finally, and I uh, decided to throw a uh, our these what were the years of those New Year's Eve bashes that I think it was like 2003 through 2008 that I used to co host these big fucking parties. So, she wants me to come out to Austin, Texas, and I, for the New Year's Eve bash, 
which will be good God all together five hundred dollars is it worth about five hundred dollars is what it would cost me uh, to head to Austin Texas to go to a picking party so uh, I'm supposed to let her know tomorrow whether to count me in or not Mm, man, I'm just thinking of New Year's Eve sitting here alone in this trailer while I all my lovable friends in Austin, Texas are Welcoming in 2024. Oh, fuck. Do I want to welcome in 2024? Aren't they? A house full of music and friends? Or do I want to welcome in 2024 sitting here alone in this trailer on New Year's Eve? Decisions, decisions. All right. This right here, which people never believe me, but you can look it up. Here on December 9th, what this is, this sunset, the sun just went down. What this is, is the earliest sunset of the entire year, which is not December 21st. It is right now that I, starting tomorrow on December 10th, the sun will start setting later every night. So I know it is 5.33 because the sun just bit the dust. Then we can start getting our daylight back. Mm. Yes, December 21st is the shortest day of the year. But at least here in Denellen, Florida, December 9th is the earliest sunset of the year. Uh, all right. I am off to Walmart to get some limeade for my second margarita. I think maybe tonight will be a clonopin night. Two margaritas and a clonopin. Ah, oh, fuck. I guess my a new pile of fish girlfriend is not coming to join me for a sunset margarita tonight. <laughs> what do you guys think? Mm. All right. Leave this gorgeous sunset. Head to Walmart. That's the sound hill cranes you hear out there. It's 
sandhill cranes going to bed and the owls waking up. Bye, guys.